Hello, and welcome to this edition of EB-5 Investment Report. I'm Amy Rios. Recently, we attended the China-U.S. Business Summit at the Millennium Biltmore Hotel in Los Angeles, California. The China-U.S. Business Summit is an organization dedicated to linking Chinese entrepreneurs with American entrepreneurs and investment opportunities in the United States, including EB-5 projects. We spoke with many of the event speakers and attendees, as well as committee members. Stephen Shen, chairman of the China-U.S. Business Summit, spoke about the purpose of the summit and addressed the importance of the EB-5 program to Chinese investors and what investment opportunities they are attracted to. Uh, for this event, we have about like 100 Chinese entrepreneurs flew directly from China to be here in Los Angeles, and they, uh, they, they were, they're going to be here to meet more than 200 Chinese local American entrepreneurs, and they're going to be you know, face to face talking and uh, exchange ideas. I believe that would, you know, um, very much help for the understanding from both people, both sides of the people. What role does China-U.S. Business Summit play with the EB-5 program? Well, EB-5, that we, we now have the trend that most of the uh, Chinese entrepreneurs, they are, uh, they want to reside here, and they want to put some money here to do business in the United States. EB-5 is a certainly one simple, important channel for them. So that uh, it's uh, uh, many Chinese entrepreneurs in favor of this channel. Number one, uh, the um, movie mm -hmm. co-production between China and the U.S. That's one of the important subjects we just uh, discussed a moment ago. Second, um, believe it or not, a Chinese restaurant coming to U.S. I mean, I'm not talking about those uh, smaller ones, but uh, the chain and the branding Chinese restaurant, they have very good food and service which very few that we can taste that here in the United States because of the traditional reasons. But now they're ready. And uh, I think it's not only uh, once they do that, uh, it's not only that uh, they can be benefited from the uh, investment here in the United States, for example, the immigration status, but also it will help the economy here because they're going to hire local people to work for them. What are some of the challenges that the Chinese investors face when investing in America? Well, the biggest challenge is uh, the differences between the two nations. We have, we have to face uh, so many differences. For example, the uh, cultural difference and the language difference, of course, and the religion difference. And uh, the law and the rules in both of the country are different. So there are many challenges that uh, you know, we have to face. Jin Zhang is General Manager of China-U.S. Business Summit. She explained the goal of the summit and why the EB-5 program is a convenient way for Chinese investors to immigrate to the United States. China and the United States already became more and more important. Um, so they are the largest two business entity in the worldwide. But when American businessmen, businesswomen talking about business, they want to expand business uh, with, well, expand the cooperation with the China side. And also right now, more and more Chinese investors, they want to make an investment in American side. But it presents a lot of difficulty when they doing this. Mm -hmm. So our organization, we want to try to become a bridge to bridge the gap um, including the culture differences, the communication problem, also the language barrier. And we want to try our best to use uh, a large group of our um, counselors. Uh, in, they are all top tier advisors in all kind of industry to help those people. In, well, we help China, Chinese to achieve their American dream, and we also help Americans to achieve their Chinese dream. We have a project called um, Housing Settlement in America. Mm -hmm. Like those um, investors and business people in China, uh, they have enough the financial power. They want to expand their business and do business in the United States. Of course, they need a convenient way to go back mm -hmm. and forth. So that definitely re will gonna relate to their immigration issue. So they will find out like uh, there's a 
good project to make invest as, as well as to solve their immigration uh, problem. In that case, yeah, they will put more concentration on the, on the projects. Yang Li, Associate Director of International Marketing at the University of California, Riverside, says most of their international students come from China. He told us about the goals of their Chinese students and why they are good candidates for the EB-5 program. Uh, basically, UC Riverside welcomes a lot of international students every year from different countries. And uh, right now, primarily, we have a lot of students coming from China and that average about over 1,000 to 2,000 per year just coming for our international education programs. And we all know all of the students are coming here for great education that we provide in the U.S. And UC is definitely a good system and UC Riverside is definitely a good school to provide them with this education. However, a lot of the students are coming here not just for the purpose of education alone. They come here uh, with well-fed families. You know, they provide with all the resources for them to come and study. And eventually their next goal is maybe to immigrate to our country and bring the contribution to our country. And of course, uh, investment is definitely one of the fastest and the most reliable uh, 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 way to be immigrated here. So a lot of students coming here uh, not just to win their diploma, to earn their diploma, but also uh, hopefully uh, within a year or two of the time that they can be actually immigrated to the States. So that's why all the students, like uh, the number we're talking about, over 1,000, 2,000 students, will become like a contribution to the EB-5 applicants. So a lot of the students uh, will become a good candidates for our programs. Paul Swinson is the president of the Council of American States in China. He spoke about reducing the fear Chinese investors have about investing in America and discussed why the summit was such an important event. Sure, they wanted to get a little bit better idea of the investment opportunities that were available in the United States. And we wanted to really reduce the fear that a lot of investors have about investing in this market and as well to supply them with a toolbox of useful resources where they could learn more about the marketplace as well as how to make safer investments in this marketplace. Our organization is the 38 states and cities as well as port authorities that have offices in China. Mm -hmm. um, it covers members in Beijing, Shanghai, and in Taiwan. And so insofar as the state governments are participating or endorsing the EB-5 regional centers, the EB-5 programs in their areas, then we do participate in that program. I think that any opportunities that we have for cultural and business exchanges are always important because the more that we understand a particular marketplace, the more likely we are to make investments. And so with programs like this, you don't typically see an investment made right on the spot. Mm -hmm. Over time, they become more and more comfortable with the marketplace based on experiences like this where they're able to be in a wonderful learning environment and learn about a number of different sectors. Attorney Thomas Girardi of the law firm Girardi Keys stressed the importance of Chinese investors receiving the right guidance to protect themselves from poor investments. You know, I think the legal system is fairly different. Mm -hmm. And so with someone to put up a large sum of money, they have to know a little bit to make sure they'll be protected here. At the end of the day, I think there's very good protection. You know, the justice system here gives everybody a fair shake. It really does. But it's very important for somebody who's not familiar with things that are happening here to get the right advice to make sure they're protected. You know, I don't think they face any great, great challenges, really. Uh, there's good opportunity here, without a doubt. And they need proper guidance, you know, to make sure they're properly protected contract-wise, to make sure they're properly protected uh, on various things that could happen. But given that, uh, there's massive opportunity. Sam Ho, CFO of GFBC Investments, said some projects that Chinese investors are interested in are hotels. However, he's seen another trend emerge both in America and in China. To be honest, um, uh, they don't really care. Okay, in general, care and not care. The, the reason why they ultimately they just want to get the, the green card. So uh, what we have to present to them is whether this, the program is good. Mm -hmm. well, the program will enable you, you to get your green card in two years. 
uh, and then we talk about uh, and then we talk about the, the type of investment. Of course, they love hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, we make two purchases. Uh, three years ago, we purchased the uh, the, uh, the Maria in downtown. Mm -hmm. That was uh, fifty six million dollar. Yeah, and uh, we, that wasn't for EB five. Okay. But we are thinking about breaking that up to have quarters for EB five. And okay. the other one is a uh, Sheraton Hilton, a Sheraton in Universal City. Uh, so hotel is one good uh, project. Uh, a senior assisted living mm -hmm. is the, is another trend uh, that uh, we are looking into. Uh, is is a trend in America? Is a trend in uh, in China? Or is, a, is we see the need? We see the big, the huge uh, need for the senior assisted living. Tai Zhang, president of Gold Coast Wine Club, talked about what his company's goals are and the challenges his business faces with the EB5 program. Our goal is to promote California lifestyle in China. Currently, we have two offices, one in Shanghai, one in Beijing. We are managing our lifestyle CEO club, and many successful Chinese executives will and has a wish to bring their uh, uh, business overseas and also the new generation, their children or family members to the United States. I think EB-5 program is one of the uh, best uh, uh, channel to uh, bring their family here. Well, one of the biggest challenges I see up there, um, I travel back and forth, many executives give us uh, their concern. Currently, there are 160 plus regional centers up there. And many projects uh, has undefined goals and business plan. So with all the information available uh, for investor or potential customers, they really don't have a clear idea what is the best way to choose a regional center. That's why I think EB-5 report is uh, a perfect fitting um, channel to shine the uh, craft from the many projects up there. China-U.S. Business Summit continued the summit in the days following the event in Los Angeles, taking investors to tour projects in Long Beach, San Diego, and Las Vegas. The summit is designed to break down cultural, language, and business barriers between Chinese and Americans. The goal is to build trust and relationships that will benefit both countries and expose them to programs like EB-5. I'm Amy Rios, and I want to thank you for watching this edition of EB-5 Investment Report.